Hello my friends. I'd like to kick this video off and let you know last Friday was Black Friday. A lot of sales going on. I wasn't planning on going anywhere. I had to put up the Christmas tree. Well I got a text on my phone from a local record store saying hey we got a sale going on. Black Friday sale. So I didn't know what kind of prices they had so I gave them a call. They said if you buy three 12 inch singles you get 12 12 inch singles for free. Also on all our LPs or 20% off. I said, man, that is a really good deal. I can't pass this up. So I had a, a kind of a small budget, you know, it's Christmas time. Let the wife know, hey, look, I want to go to this record store. She said, go ahead and have some fun. And fun is what I had, my friends. I went to the record store. They had a live band playing and playing some classic rock, some Led Zeppelin, Cheap Trick, playing some blues, a lot of people in the store, very positive environment. They had a uh, young teens in there flipping through records all the way to the 60s so really good crowd they had volunteers behind the counter that was actually cleaning records that new new records coming into the boxes so just really good positive feeling and I had a really good time I like to share with you some of those records that I bought I didn't buy too many and also I like to show you some records from my personal collection that has some of the same artists and title so let's kick it off my friends let's start the show couldn't believe I found this one. This is It's Automatic by Freestyle. This is off the Music Specialist label. This track came out, the original came out in 84. This is a repress from 86. Love this song, you know, ever since I was young. And uh, this has one of the most anticipated breakdowns in 1986. I just love it. So anyway, very fortunate to get this one. Freestyle, It's Automatic. And from my collection, I have this one. This is off a of Blackout Jam Pack record label. This got The Party Has Begun on one side, and we got Automatic on the other side. This label right here, Blackout, is a Canadian pressing. So if, if your money runs a little low and you're looking for a good record to buy, buy this one right here because you get two really good electro freestyle songs all on one record. So check out Discogs, go to eBay. If you see it in your local record stores, you better grab it. And this next one doesn't need much introduction. This is Don't Stop the Rock by Freestyle. This is off the Pain Disc record label. And of course this is a reissue back in 89. The original came off a of music specialist back in 85. And the good thing about Pain Disc, they reissue labels like Jam Pack and also Music Specialist. And this is their all-time favorite. This is the best freestyle electro jam from 85, 120 BPMs. In 89, they gave us In Your Face. This is also off of Pan Disc. Good robotic voices, good electro, good jam. Used to play that in my car, booming those speakers. And one of the members of Freestyle is Pretty Tony. He gave us Fix It in the Mix. The original track came out in 83. This particular one is a reissue from 86. So it's a really good jam. And if you tell on here, it's a mispress. It's fix in the mix when it should be fix it in the mix. And of course, it samples some stuff off of uh, computer games by Yellow Magic Orchestra. Really good jam right there. Here's another good one by Pretty Tony. This is Jam the Box. It's not actually a promo. I don't know why they have promo label on there. This is actually the uh, standard copy of Jam the Box. And this one came out in 84 and that's a good jam also. Okay this is a record I've been wanting for a long time and I went ahead and I bought it. And I love the Force, MC Force MDs. This is itching for a scratch. Love the scratching in it. Uh, love it when they do the uh, Mr. T and they do the uh, like the Elmer Fudd in there and the scratching is just off the hook and when I was reading the credits on here it was actually uh, the Latin Rascals who remixed this song so it's a really good one to have right here Itching for a Scratch by Force MDs off the rapping soundtrack here's another one I seen in the store this is 2 Live Crew this is Move Something it's off of Luke Skywalker Records and this track came out in 88 really good stuff also from my collection I'd like to share with you, Me So Horny to Live Crew. And this is off of Skywalker Records also. 
Here's another one. I want to share this with you. There was a song in a club I was looking for, We Want Some You Know What. And this is by Two Live Crew. And I guess the DJ, he must have played this side right here. This is the uh, classic dance version. And on side A is the, uh, the Liberty City Long Hard Mix live in Berlin. So anyway, when I heard that song in the club and I used to buy the CDs when it first came out, I could never find that song to actually bought this vinyl. And I flipped it over to this side and I found that club song I've been looking for. Another one by Two Live Crew. This is Do I Diddy. I think this one came out in 88. This has both the uh, clean version and also the explicit version. So that was a really good find. And this one came off of WTG Records. This is Two Live Crew. This is Yakety Yak. I think this one came out in 88 also. And WTG Records is out of New York. Okay, another track off the Luke Skywalker Records is McShady. This is Shake It. If you look on the other side, it says uh, Just My Caddy, but actually it's the same song on both sides. So it's kind of a misprint. And McShady, of course, is the cousin of Africa Bambata. It's a really good jam right there. It's the remix version. So really good booming electro Miami bass action. And I went to another record store and I found this one. This is from my personal collection. This is JDC. This is Jealous Girls. This is good electro right here. I like that a whole lot. I bought another copy of uh, Intelligent Concept. And the name of the track is called Ain't It Funky. And if you look on my videos, and I have named this track I've been looking for for a long time. And this one came out in 95. And actually, this one right here is a German electro. And this came out in Germany. That's why I couldn't find it. And you see the other one on side A, it's called Electric Journey. That has like Hashim and some other electro artists on there. And the uh, Ain't It Funky has like the Megatrons rock this planet beat in the background. So I couldn't believe I found this one. It has the uh, company label also. This one I want to share with you. I purchased this one off of eBay. And I've been getting to Decline and Wizard a lot. And they had this song called Lost Your Mind. And also they have another one called All Your Love. And I could never find it because it was actually by Alex Cartana with the uh, Decline and Wizard remix. And it's called Lost Your Mind. And this is a white label. And the good thing about this record, and when I pulled it out, it's very thick. It's like 180 grams. So really good. Put it on the record player and it plays just fine. So like that. That's good breakbeat action. Okay, another breakbeat action. This one right here, this was a blind buy, a chance, or a risk. And I like it because I know the original was a uh, Trap Spiritual Experience. This is the original for my collection. This is Mental Atmosphere. And this track came out in 95. And the second one came out in 96, right here. This is called Platform City. Really good track. I like this side a whole lot better. So that's some good breakbeat action. And I flipped through the record some more, and I found this 12-inch single, The Dynamic Breakers. This is Dynamic Total Control. This is off the Sun of You label. Dynamic Breakers. After they made the song, they went with Rockmaster Scott and the Dynamic 3. And of course they had Request Line and The Roof Is On Fire. So this is really good. It kind of sounds like uh, Radioactivity by Royal Cash and also some of the Nuclear songs. So dynamic, really good song to get. And we're going to stick with the Sunny View label. I'm going to share it with you. Jam on it. Good track. And also from Nucleus, we got Computer Age, Push the Button. And if you get the promo version of Push the Button, very, very highly collectible and very rare record. And they also said the uh, promo version is different. It's got a really good mix on it called Push the Button. I think they really go for like $150. So some of the promos that you find could actually go for 10 times the price of the standard copy. So anyway, love this song for years. And this track came out in 84. Another one off of Sunny View, and this is a Sunny View German pressing of Rock the Planet by the Megatrons. 
and I'm going to show you the label. It's a, a joint venture, I guess, with uh, Bellafon and Sunnyview. And of course, the, another original came off of Own Records. There it is right there. Let me flip the record over for you. There it is, Sunnyview, Rock the Planet. This is a, a German pressing. Really good track, good electro. I think it came out in about 86. Another song I've been wanting for for a very long time, as I'm flipping through the end of the stack, was this one right here. This is JVC Force. This is Strong Island. This is off of B-Boy Records. Like this track a whole lot. Wanted to get the original uh, sample right here. It's called Unhooked Generation by Freight of Pain from 1970. Because when I was listening to that song, I really loved that 1970s beat and all those uh, guitar riffs and all that. It was actually from a soul singer from 1970. So, of course, if you go to uh, whosample.com and you pull up Strong Island by JVC Force, you'll see that. So, love this one a whole lot. Kind of extra added bonus to get this uh, sleeve. Okay, next is one I uh, liked for a very long time. I have another copy. Also, another thing about buying records, before I go to the record store, I said, I'm not going to buy another copy of something I have. Unless it's a better condition, I get the company sleeve. If it's rare, it's got a good price. So I bought the Beat Club Security. And this track came out in 88. Good electro freestyle. Uh, this says, warning, this groove may be contagious. Listen at your own risk. Really good sticker right there. So anytime you go into the record store, if you see this 12-inch right here, Atlantic, Chances are it's going to be a really good song, so I highly advise you to pull it out, take a look at it, and see if you want to buy it. Okay, the original Security out of Miami came off of Pizzazz record label. This has got the same tracks on both sides as the one on the 12-inch Atlantic label. And this one I bought from a guy from Discogs, DJ Charles A., Sold me a lot of good jams, some breakbeat, and also some good electro and freestyle. So, love this one right there. Love the cover. Another security, another good uh, uh, remix. It's off the Mix It. This is by Cameron Paul. And this is the uh, Security Beat Club remix from 88. It's got like Jealous Fellas in there. It's got some good breakdowns, good flanger effects. So, if you like security a whole lot... If you get the uh, Mix It, Cameron Paul, CP20, highly recommend this one. I'm going to share a uh, few more 12-inch Atlantic labels with you. This is GT, I Need You, really good freestyle. The GT uh, had Take My Hand, and also he was one of the members of uh, Lanier that had Sending All Your Love. Also, he does a lot of stuff with Toga. Yo Nay Say, this is by your Pajama Party. It's another one off the 12-inch uh, Atlantic series. Really good freestyle there. Also another good one is uh, T-Lex. This is Peanuts. It's a good track also. Of course, uh, I like to get the uh, Discal, uh, Miscal, whatever it's called, by T-Lex. Discal, Moscow. Or Moscow, Discal, whatever. Okay, this one is a, a Talo Disco. Uh, house song. This is Fun Fun. This is Happy Station. And this came out of uh, Italy. I'm going to show you the uh, record label. X Energy Records. Never seen that before. Anyway, that was a good buy. And last record. I've got another copy. This is Shriek Back. This is Nemesis. I got it in near mint condition. And I got it 20% off. So that was a really good find right there. So I hope you enjoyed all these records and uh, really enjoy going to the record store. And I'd like to thank you to all my subscribers. And I have a lot of fun answering your questions. And also keep the groove going. Keep buying vinyl. Thank you very much.